In this problem, we're told an athlete executing a long jump leaves the ground at a 27 degree angle and lands 7.8 meters away. What was the takeoff speed? And if the speed were increased by just 5%, how much longer would the jump be? So I drew a diagram of what's going on here. So we have our sprinter, our athlete, and they're jumping and uh, they do it at a 27 degree angle, right? So they jump like this and we know they land 7.8 meters away. So for A, it tells us to find the takeoff speed. So there's going to be a formula that you have to know to find this. And generally, you're, you need to, or you know to use this formula when you're given an, a distance uh, right here, an angle, and you're trying to find uh, the takeoff speed. And you can give in any uh, combination of three, right? So they might ask for distance in another problem. And they might give you uh, the speed that you take off at. But in this case, we're given these two. So let's just use the formula and solve. So the formula is going to be R equals u squared times the sine of 2 theta over g. And so I'm going to explain each uh, component here. So r is going to be the distance you travel. So in this case, it's 7.8. u squared, or in this case, u, is going to be your takeoff speed, right? So that's that. And then theta is just going to be your angle. And then g is just gravity. So let's solve. So we're trying to find the takeoff speed, right, for the first one. So what we need to do is solve for u. So if we manipulate this equation to get it in terms of u, uh, we can multiply both sides by g and then divide by the sine of 2 theta. And if you go ahead and do that, you'll get u squared equals r times g over the sine of 2 theta. And so we're trying to find u, right? So let's plug everything in and actually solve. So we know r is the distance traveled, which is 7.8 meters. So 7.8, we're multiplying it by the force of gravity. And in this case, you want to keep gravity positive. So it's going to be 9.8. Divide by the sine of 2 times our angle, 27 degrees. And so 2 times 27 is 54. So it's just going to be the sine of 54. And so this right here is going to be equal to u squared. So if you go ahead and solve this, uh, you're going to get that it equals 94.48. So if you plug that in your calculator, this is what you're going to get. So u squared equals 94.48. And so if we want to find u, just square root both sides. u is going to be equal to the square root of 94.48, which should give us 9.72 meters per second. So this is going to be our takeoff speed. So if we label it here on our drawing, 9.72 meters per second. So that's your answer to A. So now let's move on to B. So this is going to be B. B says, if this speed were increased by just 5%, how much longer would the jump be? So in this case, we're trying to find how much longer the jump would be. So we're trying to find a distance, right? So we're trying to solve for r. So we're using the same exact equation, except for in this case, our speed's going to be increased by 5%, right? So if u is our speed, we're increasing it by 5%, and then we're going to solve for r. So if we take our speed and multiply it by, or we increase it by 5%, and we do that by multiplying by 1.05, uh, that's going to give us our new speed that they want us to use, and then we're going to use it to solve for r, which is our distance. So if you go ahead and do that, you do 9.72 times 1.05, you're going to get 10.206. And so this is going to be our new one, right? And we're trying to solve for r. So let's just plug it in this formula. So 10.206 squared, right? Because that's u equals r times 9.8. So I'm just going to call it 9.8r divided by the sine of the same same angle, right? So 2 times 27, which is 54. So if you want to go ahead and solve, uh, all you got to do is multiply both sides by the sine of 54. So that would cancel. Uh, we're going to have the sine of 54 right here on this side. And then let's just rewrite it. So the sine of 54 times 10.206 squared equals 9.8 times r. So if we divide both sides by 9.8, we're going to get r by itself, right? So we know r is going to be equal to this right here, sine of 58 times 10.206 squared divided by 9.8. Uh, if you go ahead and plug that in your calculator, you're going to get that r equals uh, 8.6, right? So our new distance is 8.6. So with this case, with it improved 5%, we're going to travel now 8.6 meters but they're asking how much longer the jump would be right so they're not asking for the distance with five percent they're asking the change in the distance so that means we got to subtract our new distance or our old distance from our new distance 
So if you go ahead and do that, 8.6 minus 7.8, you're going to get that it equals 0.8. And keep in mind, we're using meters, right? So 0.8 meters. So this right here is going to be your answer to B. So B equals 0.8 meters. So yeah, that's how you solve this problem.